TikTok has formally launched what they're calling TikTok resumes, allowing a uh, allowing folks, irregardless of their generation, but you think it's kind of more, more focused towards the, the Gen Zers, the 18 year olds, the 20 year olds, the 30 year olds, whatever. The majority of folks are on TikTok to actually create videos about themselves, video resumes that they can push out to a number of companies. And, and as of as of start right now at the launch, there are 40 companies that have aligned with TikTok and they're providing over 400 jobs out the gate for folks that post their video resume to the platform. Chipotle, Target, the worldwide wrestling uh, uh, entertainment organization, Shopify, I think we saw some for, what was it the, the Detroit Pistons? I'll show another screen that has this, but this is a amazing idea of, again, meeting people where they are because they're using TikTok anyway as a social platform. Folks are looking for jobs. This is the best thing. I think this is, is just phenomenal to do because it really lets you see who that person is. It gets you the, the video. It lets you see how they react when they're in front of camera, when, when they're on scene or whatever the case may be. You, let, you get to see people emoting and things of that. A lot of the jobs are kind of in the customer facing and social media realm anyway. So it just makes sense. And TikTok is exploding everywhere. Look. Looking at well, they're being the innovative. They're being yeah. innovative. Go ahead. And as you're talking about that, I think this is an awesome move because outside of LinkedIn, and you know that this generation, the 30 and unders, 25 and unders, 21 and unders, mm -hmm. they're not going to LinkedIn. But yes. these, yeah. comp these companies that you see on the screen right now, they're willing to meet the customer. I mean, meet their um their hirees, potential hirees, where they are. Forever 21, Fuse, uh, Detroit Pistons, Great Everyone that's great in the mall, clips. right? Everyone so that's in the mall. You're like, yeah. look, look at Great Clips, all right? You, you're, you cut hair. Mm -hmm. So show me some of your stuff. Show me your work. Let me see how you do it. I've never heard of Homie before, but, um, but I mean, you get a hair stop. Look, what did I say? Just show us that you can cut hair and you now have a job at Great Clips in all those cities from Fargo, North Dakota, Charleston, South Carolina, Boynton Beach, Florida. I mean, they're looking for jobs. So I don't know about Fargo, North Dakota, but. <laughs> well, so check this out. So check, so you are in. I see Alpharetta, Georgia. Look out. Click on Alpharetta, Georgia and see. So if you live in Atlanta, Georgia, you can literally. Post your video resume and go to Chipotle. <laughs> Shout out to Chipotle. I got two kids working at Chipotle and they pay. Hey, man. They pay right. They pay. Okay. Hey, Isaiah hadn't asked for, asked daddy for any dollars in a while because they, they just got a raise. So shouts out to Chipotle for, for staying out of my pocket. Okay. Yes. And then where, where's, what's the closest city to you? Do you see anything down there? Um, Let's see here. Do you, you see anything? So basically, you're getting an opportunity or you're getting a job by just being you. And because, they're getting the chance yeah. to say, hey, we want this. And it's it's funny because, I mean, you look at a resume, they tell you no more than one page. Mm -hmm. And then when you're like that professional, it's like, hey, you can give us up to five pages, maybe even 10 pages when you're looking for something more governmental or educational based because your your accolades are of so, you know, you have a huge I'm messing up what I want to say, but you basically have a great uh, help me out, James. Put put them in, Coach. Go ahead. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I don't, you know, sometimes I wonder what you're trying to say, but oh the fact God. that there are organizations that where these millennials, Gen Zers, Gen Xers, what what whatever the, the category is, all these stores are in the, all these places are in the mall. They're at the places they frequent these fast food and sit down restaurants. You got the NBA, you got NASCAR, you, you've got all of these organizations that need someone again in forward facing, customer facing roles. I'm not going to hire you in one of those roles if you can't engage and if you can't be entertained, if you can't be confident, especially on video with yourself. You're, you're already doing this yourself. You're standing in your room doing crazy dances on TikTok anyway. Do it so you can get yourself a job. And th these are, I mean, real companies. And they're willing to meet you. 
They're yes. willing to look. Look at TikTok. TikTok is hiring. TikTok look at Vayner Media. Uh, Gary V. Uh, who else is over there? What's what's Gary hiring for? So probably up in New York. Yeah, New York. He's hiring for creators. He's hiring for media residency. So <laughs> NFT enthusiast. EB, check it out. NFT enthusiast with it. Vayner Media. You can't be one of these positions if you can't engage in rack and be confident on camera in front of people. Send me your TikTok video of you saying your. 60 second elevator pitch you can be considered for these type this type of position how much would this be i think linkedin should do this more often or they mm. should have already done this you're not going to get it from instagram i mean that's more for like influencers and yeah. you know uh, people that are create content creators and brand partnerships i think that's the only way those two are going to marry together but for tiktok to say hey we have 40 companies 400 jobs you can't go wrong can't go wrong. No.